Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this Oracle database programming session, we'll discuss about PL SQL composite types. So after completing this particular session, we should be able to understand the different type of PL SQL record types and what are the differences. And we'll see a set of samples using those. Let's start with the first thing. So like we know that like a Oracle database, like when you deal with a SQL or when you deal with a PL SQL, we have a data and each data will correspond to a specific data type. And in the data type, again, they are further divided into a simple type as well as composite type, or you can also call it as complex data type. So simple type means nothing but a variable which can hold only a value of one type, nothing but employee number, which is of data type number, which can hold only one value, which is of number data type. Coming to the here, if you observe the composite data types, we have there are two types one is pl sql record other one is collection a record is nothing but a group of related data items nothing but you know like uh, you can consider it as a record like in the database table when you execute any when you execute any sql query you'll get a record which will consist of a number of columns and each column may have a different data type nothing but a collection of elements which is which will have a different set of data types it is not actually similar to your normal sql query result Table uh, result result uh, row, but you can consider it as a record, which is similar to the row of a PLC uh, SQL query. Coming to the collection, the difference between a record and a collection is in the collection you'll have all the elements of same data type, nothing but array of employee numbers, array of employee names, right, or array of a blob in, blob documents. So nothing but it's kind of an array which will have a similar set of data type elements, not a different one. Okay, so that is what about collection. Okay, and let us see some more information about what kind of composite, uh, what kind of collections we have in a PL SQL. So when you say PL SQL collection, there are total three types of PL SQL collections which are available. One we call it as associative array, other one is nested table, other one is variable array or VRAs. Comparatively, the functionality for all of them is same, but it like few of them has a set of limitation. Okay, and Syntax wise, it is almost similar, but like uh, there are some set of extra keywords we have to use for these things. So, first one is associative array, nested table, and V array. Okay, so these are all data types which we generally use it for the purpose of holding array of elements. It can be array of where care, it can be array of employee records, or array of purchase order, right? So, these all collections, when the name itself says collection, collection is nothing but an array of a set of elements. Okay. That element can be a single element or that element can be a record. Let's start with the first one. Associative array. So how do you declare associative array? So here if you observe the syntax which we are seeing now, this is a PL, PL SQL level syntax, not the SQL syntax. What, what I mean to by what I mean to say about SQL or PL SQL syntax is so you have a keyword type, the variable name is table of data type, indexed by binary integer or similarly index by varchar so and so so here, here if you observe there is no create keyword i mean to say you're not creating any object whatever the syntax which is there it is applicable only inside the pl sql it will not work it will not work outside the pl sql we are not creating any custom data type which can be used by other particular packages this kind of data type can will work only inside the pl sql okay that's a, that's why we clearly mentioned pl sql by pl by sql collections okay and here if you observe the syntax of associative arrays we just need to declare the first thing is like if at all if you want to declare a variable of a particular data type, we just need to mention type followed by your variable name is a table of you can mention and it can be a record or you can mention a var cap but only thing is you have to mention index by appropriate integer because it requires an index when you want to deal with associative arrays coming to the nested table the only difference is the syntax is almost same only thing is you don't have any index by appropriate integer or a var cap that's the only difference okay now coming to the next one so in the in the variable array so the variable array concept is you know like a it you know like you cannot you cannot assign n number of records to your variable array like you have to always mention like how many elements you want only it can allocate only that set, that number of elements it's all it's a very memory constraint specific uh, component so that is why you know that is why you know it is very difficult to use vra if you are not sure how many records your particular po lines is our po header is having or if you're not sure how many records your employee table is having so in those kind of scenarios if you're not aware of 
what is the length of your data better not to use vra if you are aware that you know like you'll have only a specific set of data then you have to use vra okay so we have seen associative array nested table as well as vra okay let us see the examples of each and every each one of them so here if you observe in the associative array like in the declared section what we have done is we just declared a type associative array is table of varchar nothing but this particular data type can can handle n number of i can say let us say var we mentioned varchar nothing but it it can handle n number of n number of names okay so in the begin section what we have done we just assigned like uh, with the index 1 we mentioned first with index 2 we mentioned second so on like that and we just printed so what we are trying to say from this particular syntax is like uh, using associative array as we mentioned it's a table of varchar nothing but for each particular for each particular index it can it can you can assign a particular variable of data type varchar let us say if you want to assign assign like a, if you want to have a table of employee records then you have to mention here table of employee record then for each particular index you can mention appropriate column name and you can assign the values okay we'll see those examples also but initially this is one of the very simple example with respect to associative array let us take this one we'll try to execute and then we can discuss more so here okay just execute this first okay now let us say if at all let me assign few more okay now we got third let us see what will happen if i assign something at the index 5 let us see okay can you see it is saying you know like some issue like a no data found the reason is like uh, just see what is a count first okay just see what is a count first because you don't have an element at fourth and you are trying to access the element four that is why it is giving the issue okay see array count is four array count is four but the index but the in see we have assigned only four elements but the issue is you are trying to access you are trying to access the index which is at the four but you have not assigned any value at four that is why you are getting this issue let us say how i can get out of this issue is i'll say if i is not equal to four okay then then only try to print it else don't print it right nothing but don't access it i mean to say okay let's see got it but five but the fifth element is not get, getting printed because we mentioned the array count as 4 that is why let us see if i change it to 5 if i change it to 5 and see we have to get you have to get the the other one also fifth also okay what i am trying to tell you is as you have not assigned them in appropriate manner obviously like you cannot access the element which you have not assigned okay make sure that you know like you assign the elements properly then only it will work perfectly okay so this all about associative array let's see the next sample in the nested array so in the nested array the difference is see in the associative array we mentioned index by binary integer in the nested array you will not mention anything with the index by binary integer but the extra thing which you which we have to go with nested arrays we have to always instantiate the data type nothing but here if you observe nested type is a table of varchar and what is a variable v nested variable this nested variable should be always instantiated with the the type of which the variable was created nothing but what will happen is only it will allocate it will allocate memory at this time it will allocate memory at this time coming to the associative array it happens by default but for the next array you have to explicitly assign then only it will work okay that's the first change and also you have to always let us if you want to allocate any element to that let us say it element at the index 1 you want to assign any element you have to allocate you have to extend it until unless you extend it it will not work okay until unless you extend it it will not work i extended for three elements nothing but it will work with the index 1 2 and 3 then only you can assign the values so that's the only difference between the associative array and nested table in the nested table you have to instantiate as well as you have to extend how many elements you want if you're not aware let us say if i am not aware of how many elements i have so what is the thing is like a uh, you have to extend it you know like there is no limit to the how many elements it can access but you have to simply extend every time whenever you want to access the data okay that's the logic now coming to the next one 
VRA. So here, if you observe, VRA is a little bit different, but let's see. So the VRA, as we discussed, now here, if you observe, type, nested type, a stable of, and what we have mentioned. So in the nested type, I just allocated this element, like, uh, yeah, the same thing, right? Nested table example only. I'll, let us go with the VRA example, okay? Yeah, so coming to the VR example here, if you observe, we mentioned VR of three. So we clearly mentioned while declaration itself, we mentioned I want to have only three elements. So obviously it will not allow you, it will not allow you to assign more elements. That's it. Okay. So this is very difficult one. Better not to use a VR whenever you have a whenever you're not aware of how many how much data you have it. Okay. So we just assign like a we also need to assign, we also need to initialize instantiate, then only then only it will work after instantiation. You can assign the data like this and you also need to extend them appropriately okay because here we have assigned at the during construction level constructor level if at all if you're assigning the value during constructor level it doesn't need to mention extend but if you're not assigning if you want to if you want to assign like this with this syntax you always need to extend this is applicable to the nested table array also okay so this is all about the these three things and other other example i want to show you with respective to SQL syntax, okay? As of now, we whatever the samples which we have discussed, that works only with the real SQL. But now I want to deal with some of the create type logic so that you know, like you'll understand which one to use when you're dealing. So now here, if you observe, I have two particular data types which I've declared. One is PO header record, okay? So here, if you observe, I have a drop commands, but just observe this one first. Create a replace tape type, okay? And uh, as object, I mentioned this one. See, as object, you have to mention when you are creating data type using a, using a SQL syntax. This is a SQL syntax, right? Create or replace. It's a, SQL, it's a part of DDL, SQL syntax. So I, I'm creating a data type. You can consider it as a data type only, okay? Now here, if you observe, when you're declaring any of the thing in this one, just observe this one. So we just mentioned type is table of something indexed by binary integer. But coming to the SQL syntax, we just need to mention as object. We have to mention object. You mention the elements. And then I'm following the nested table syntax. Okay, there is no nested by concept here because for nested table, we'll not use it, right? Create a replace type as table of this one. And similarly for lines also, I have used the same one. As object, table of this one, okay? nested table one okay now coming to the other one what i what i was trying to design is like uh, i just designed a pl sql package which is extracting data from the database okay so let me close this one yeah so this is my nested table syntax uh, sorry pl sql package pl sql procedure using the nested table concept so i just i'm just passing the header id and i'm getting the pivot header data as well as PO line data. And here, if you observe, what is the data type you mentioned? I mentioned the custom data type, which is similar to the nested table concept, right? Which is similar to the nested table concept. And similar to the coming to the package, what I've done is, like I get the data, I just created the package body here. I have created a cursor for the header purpose as well as line purpose, passing the header ID. And then here, if you observe in the body logic, I am instantiating the header data variable and then extending it i mentioned extend logic in the inside the loop because i'm not sure how many records i'll get for a given header id okay let us say instead of header id if i pass org id i would have got n number of records header id anyway like it will get only one record if you are working with ebs or let us say as per your business there are chance assume that like if for a given header id if you have multiple records so this logic will work for single record as well as multiple record that is the reason i just use a for loop kind of syntax and i mentioned this particular functionality header dot data extend inside the loop so what will happen initially you you have initialized nothing but it is ready for allocation of data then you extend it nothing but whenever you invoke extend it will always allocate it will extend, you know, like uh, each record. I mean, to say like uh, whenever you call extend, it will allocate one record for it. And then with this particular index, like uh, initially it was zero, it will have one now. And also I just use this one to instantiate the data with empty elements first and then assign the values respectively. And similarly for lines logic also follow the same syntax, instantiate, instantiation, then extension, and then assign the values. That's it. Now, how do you invoke it? Let us see how do I invoke it? So. I'm using anonymous block concept to invoke the data. So just see this one. So I have declared two variables of header table as well as line table. And the, I'm just invoking this particular package, the procedure, and trying to print the 
count of the header as well as line then iterated the information for the header purpose as well as line purpose okay and just simply iterating it there is nothing here just dot count and based on the number of lines it is having it will print it okay so let's see okay let's see this content i have five lines can you see line count as five and i got all the information now one more final thing i want to tell you is like whatever the create type concept which we have used that is especially if you see the syntax it is similar to the nested table let us say if at all if you want to see the logic of create syntax with the associate array just see what will happen okay can you see sorry one minute i'll show you yeah just see this one it says PLC use of PLC equal table does not allow in this context. The basic thing is whatever the concept of associate array or a V array will not work with this create syntax. Okay, this logic, similar logic, this works only with the nested table kind of logic, nested table of nested table, nested table kind of syntax. Okay, just make sure that you know you consider this particular logic when you're dealing with sending data from your package to the third party system or in reading the data from your third party system. Okay, make sure that you always follow the nested table logic. Okay, thank you.